Holy crap has China come a long way. I found out about the Kubi brand just by mistake. I think I was browsing something on eBay and then I saw one of their knives and I'm like, hold on a second, who are these people? I know about Chinese knives being good because obviously Kershaw, Gerber, and many popular knife manufacturers for years have been making their knives, not only designing them to use and making them in China, using Chinese materials such as the 8CR, 5CR, 7CR family of steels, and it has been really good. What I have been noticing is that a lot of these original Chinese brands, they all have one thing in common. They like to put D2 steel as a standard on a lot of their blades. It's normally a pretty pricey option. Today we're gonna go through another very, very, popular and nice offering by Kubi. Brings a little warranty registration card. Feels very Americanized this process. They got their silica gel desiccant in there to keep moisture away. Comes in a nice little plastic pouch here which I opened because I have been carrying this knife I want to say. So this is the KU214 offering from Kubi. This knife caught my attention because of the blade shape. You'll notice a lot of F and Grow and a lot of these Chinese knives they all have very similar bearings here, you can tell by the way that this little fastener here is positioned. Yeah, the way this little fastener is positioned and designed, they all have like a very similar uh, bearing top there. But very, very nice design. And it's got that wood grain style G10 T5 Torx retainers. It's got a lanyard hole. It's got a G10 sandwich liner right here in between the steel liners for for the lockback portion of the knife and ladies and gentlemen this is a real titanium tip up carry clip i don't think it's ambidextrous but it might be if this bolt is long enough you can just switch it to the other side but it is a tip up by factory titanium pocket clip and that goes to any of these models there's there's the ku214 that has a full titanium scale design i think that would be a pretty cool uh design i just haven't spent a hundred dollars to check it out in order to show it to you guys these g10s were awesome now they do make this knife with a g10 variety in orange and i believe also in tan the black one was kind of like a standard favorite of mine so i just kept it it is a flippered knife i don't see any mechanism here to be able to draw the knife out such as a thumb stud or an embossment or any kind of um of a hole like Spyderco does, but there is a flipper and it comes out almost instantaneously. It's fully mechanical, it's not assisted, but just look at that blade for a second. Just feast your eyes on it. Let me get some focus on it real quick to see if I can, uh, yeah, just look at that. I like the fact that these new reverse Tanto uh, knives are becoming so popular because they're very, very delightful to see. I mean, it's just a very, very nice design. There's a lot of manufacturers making these. This is the one that I like the most because, um, the comfort of the jimping, and it has like a dual jimping design. It's got jimping here, and if you really want to choke up, you can do jimping here. Like if you have something harder to cut, and you really want to put your body weight into it, it's totally designed in a way that it's comfortable enough to do it. The handle is ergonomic enough, even for my medium to big hands, to be able to do most heavy duty tasks for it. So it's D2 steel. It's got some kind of stone wash on it, which is really, really nice because it's a, it's like a very, very light bead blast. Gerber does it a lot. Kershaw does it a lot. Now, it is very, very sharp. I decided to do these reviews gloved because not only I, a few weeks ago, I got a cut in one of my fingers and I didn't want to expose that to the camera. It's a little unprofessional, but also because I, I actually staring behind a camera as I do this. I can grab the knife at some weird angles and cut myself and kind of like a safety measure. It's gorgeous. I like the little the stylish little hole inside the flipper. Very small belly to it. I'm going to put this in front of the camera best I can so you can see the angle. There you go. That's the extent of your belly. And then the reverse tanto brings that spline at an acute angle right up to that tip to bring it kind of like a combination of a hybrid between clip point and reverse tanto. It's a beautiful knife, guys. You can have it on eBay from the Kubi store direct, if I'm not mistaken, for about $29.99. Anything under 40 bucks is a good value for this Chinese made, but they're coming along with quality, folks. All right, guys, you have a good one. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more knives that are just cool, good value in general, and uh, rare pickups as well, as that's what I've been kind of like specializing in lately, the, the knives that you kind of want to pick up because they're either going to be rare or like I'd like to call endangered species. They're on their way to becoming fully extinct out of more 
most store shelves. All right, guys, thanks for visiting. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.